have to ask you about something. I know you addressed this on yes. social media, but uh, you told your story of being bullied in high school. I did. And then somebody came out with your yearbook photos and kind of accused you of making it all up. Right. What do you want to say to that person now, having reflected on it a bit <laughs> and, and experiencing all that? I, um, I say to that, I just shame on you. I do, because um, no one will ever be able to take that pain away and what I went through, no matter what speculations they want to say about me. Um, people that are hurt do things to be accepted, and that's what I did my whole life, is try to be accepted, and no matter whether that was in a beauty pageant or a club or a whatever it may be, all you try to do is be accepted by the people that don't want to accept you, So, um, and that's what I'm still doing today. No one cares about a half half Mexican bitch's opinion. You are disgusting okay. and are jealous. Okay. I'm like shaking as I'm reading this because it's, it's shocking, it's uncomfortable. I know it's uncomfortable for you to see. Just imagine how uncomfortable it is to get this in your comments and your DMs every day, every week, every month. This segment with Rachel tonight was really powerful yes. and went through just the unacceptable hate that you guys get. Exactly. What was it like for you to be up there? Because we saw you getting emotional during that, and I know some of those messages they shared were directed at you. Yes, um, you know, that was a moment that I will never forget, that's for sure. Um, people don't realize that we are human beings at the end of the day, that their words hurt, uh, especially for someone that's been through this their whole life and having those wounds reopened. Um, it's hard, but like I said at the end, like I just want to be a voice for those girls that are going through this. I've seen some of the stuff people have said, criticizing your looks, it's all really horrible. What message do you have for those people? You know, at the end of the day, we all are human and we all went through this together. So I think that is one thing that we can all come to a common ground on and appreciate about each other, whether we agree with each other or not. <laughs> We can all appreciate each other. Hearing Rachel Lindsay speak it was yeah. so powerful. I think ABC's doing a great job in being inclusive, and I was really excited and happy to have Rachel Lindsay in the segment tonight. I'm so happy to be part of it because for too long now, it was people were getting away with it. And the things that people say to us, we would never say to each other, and that's the crazy thing. Like coming after me for racial slurs and like death threats is unacceptable. Honestly, I think that was a discussion that really needed to be to be had. Um, and I think I'm really grateful that Spatra Nation was there to hear it. And, and because it's hard when you're on the other side and you're getting all that every single day. And it's just, it really does affect you. And when you try to even block out the negativity and just hear the love, like it's still loud and you still see it and you still hear it and it, it hurts. 